What's cracking, everybody? And today I have some very odd news. I haven't done a noble news video in a long time, but you know what? Let's crack straight into it. Roll that intro. So the first bit of news here is, well, someone is trying to copyright Ahigao, and the second bit of news is someone is stealing my identity to sell my friend's work. The first one I'm going to start on is the people trying to copyright Ahigao, that's right. The source of this comes from my friend Jacob, the owner of Faku, who made a tweet saying that a Chinese company named Shenzhen Gongkai Trading, I, I apologize if I said that wrong, my Chinese is horrific, has trademarked the word Aigao using stolen artwork and is trying to get Faku to stop selling the only 100% official merch. We are legit trying to fight it, but please stop buying bootleg items, legit versions in the replies. Now I'm like, really? Are you really trying to copyright Ahigao? Who is that dumb to actually try and do it, but then somehow gets away with it? Like what? And China, what goes on in China? My first initial thoughts here on this is like, how can a Chinese company trademark a Japanese word? You know, something that originated in Japan. But anyway, if we go on to the trademark electronic search system, which shows us trademarks here, uh, we see that Ahigao has indeed been copyrighted. And they say that the translation of the word Ahigao has no meaning in a foreign language. And I'm just like... Well, that's horseshit. Now, as many of you know, I'm around the off-brand genre quite a bit here. In fact, I, I may be friends with people in the off-brand industry, and I may do memes about off-brand... Well, you, you know I'm a little bit deep into it. But I do know for a fact that Ahigao does have a meaning in Japan. In fact, it's broken up into two parts here, being Ahi, uh, which is an abbreviation for Ahihahi, which is an onomatopoeia for pant or moan, and then a gao really just means face. So you have panting face or silly face. And trust me, ahi gao is not the only type of gao. There are lots of different types of gaos, but much like the sundere, it's the only one that really matters. But anyway, if we look at the copyright again, we can see that the goods and services includes caps and headwares, corsets, a bunch of like clothing items here. Like, they they ha are trying to copyright all this clothing item. And then also, they're saying that the owner is indeed this company. Now, I just like to imagine, like, them going to the copyright company and trying to explain to the person what an Ahigao is. It's like, can we copyright the sexual thing? The person probably embarrassed and not wanting to look anything up probably just said yes. I don't know how legal that is, but hey, you know, China is China. Now, obviously, do I think that this Chinese company can have any hold over a foreign word <laughs> that never originated in their culture to begin with, trying to copyright it, and them going after, like, legit businesses that have paid for, like, Ahigao to be used? Like, I don't, I don't see them actually holding any ground whatsoever in a legal battle. Obviously, by people being copyrighted on YouTube and Twitch, you, you people probably know what a copyright thing means. It's you're using stuff that isn't yours. Well, this time this guy copyrighted something that was already copyrighted, you know, like it's ridiculous. But to be fair, I don't think Ahigao deserves a copyright because, well, you know, how many, it's like, it belongs to the people. <laughs> That's all I can say. Imagine every time someone makes a silly face in anime, you have to pay somebody to use a silly face. The concept is ridiculous. Now this next bit of news is someone impersonating me and using my friend's Mary's comics and trying to make money off of it. And well, again, it's China. Oh boy. Now Mary did DM me, but uh, I'll use his tweet instead since it's got more info in it. And he said, to my dear Chinese readers, 
Some interested people are cheating my Chinese readers recently. They tried to sell fake pay to view content in the Chinese circle and claim that all my comics were paid content and even threatened to sue all fans for translating to prevent fans from uploading translated comics for free. My comics will always be free. Please don't listen to these scammers. Now my friend Mary, he uploads a lot of free content, including my Fox Girls are better comic, you know? So he's a real cool guy, does meme stuff. Like, I, I, I've been friends with this homie for a long time now. Real cool dude. He always wants to keep his stuff free because, you know, just gets it out there for more people to enjoy. But anyway, the screenshots include my picture right there, my Twitter picture. I had no idea why they're using me. And it's like a subscription Patreon service, like VIP access to get to all these comments. And there's a particular shot here that says, at all, the author's comics have been protected by law. Do not publish, modify, embezzle, and translate them without permission. Reply is not allowed. Hilarious! Considering that they're stealing not only my friend's comics, um, and saying, please don't modify or publish without permission, but they're also using my face in order to do, like, that's just so stupid. And much like Mary, I keep all of my stuff free to view. I don't really like putting anything behind a paywall, besides, of course, merchandise. Which we're currently putting Lily plushies back on the market so you can get yours. We sold out of the first batch and you guys went crazy over this. Link below in the description. Glad you guys enjoy some good Lily merch. But I find it the most hilarious when people are trying to copyright stuff when they don't own the copyrights themselves. It's so stupid. It's like people trying to copyright fan art. Like, you can't do that. It's fan art! <laughs> By the definition of fan art, you're making fan art content of something else. You can't copyright something that's fan art. But this goes beyond even the fan art issue when they don't actually own any of the content. And it's just ridiculous because some of the series that they have there include My Succubus, uh, Fox Girls Are Better, Clinic of Horrors, Internet Explorer, Chance, Meme Girl, Stalker, Stalker. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So this video serves a two multi-purpose thing here is me, of course, protecting our beloved Ahigal faces. <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna pay some random ch Chinese person who decided that they owned something that they have no business owning every time I use an Ahigal picture. No, screw that. That's not what the copyright system is for. And also to protect my own image saying like someone posing as me because i'm definitely not in china <laughs> trying to steal my friend's memes all right no man my friend gives me his memes honestly this news is kind of dumb and i'm pretty sure this will get sorted hopefully but to, hey i gotta make sure i defend my image and i gotta make sure i defend my eye cows all right it's important to me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a new installment of Noble News. Definitely subscribe if you want to see some more interesting anime content. And I'll catch you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...